The only way I can be beat is if you cheat. If you cheat. If you play fair and square, I'm going to win. <laughs> I mean... Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Barb City where it's Liddy. Let's go on ahead and get into it before we do. As always, please remember to fill my comments with hashtag BCG, money bags or unicorns for good vibes. Our first topic is going to be about Glorilla and JT. I want to give you guys my opinion on Glorilla deciding to throw shade at JT on her recent album. So first things first, this is the bar that they are saying was for JT. You will never catch me slipping. I ain't no effing Cinderella stupid beat. So first of all, um, I did not listen to the song. I did not hear that on a beat, but just by reading it, it is very weak, especially considering it's supposed to be shade, right? Now, I want to say this. I feel like Glorilla and JT have no idea why they're beefing, just like Lotto and Ice Spice. I feel like it's played out. They all use each other for promo at this point. JT has been paying Glorilla dust for quite some time. And Glorilla's last project, the one before the one she just dropped last night, performed way better than JT. So I'm like, girl, you already won. And at this point, you're just bringing unnecessary attention to JT. But let me know what you guys feel about that. And let's move forward into Sexy Red and Nicki Minaj unknowingly clearing up a narrative that has been going around on the internet for quite some time. So Nicki Minaj has cleared this narrative up a lot, but again, we're going to get into it. So the internet loves to say that Nicki Minaj does not want to work with anybody that works with her ops, especially Cardi B. If you like Cardi B, Nicki Minaj does not want to F with you, which like I said, she has cleared this up plenty of times, especially with Ice Spice, who has shown plenty of of love to Cardi B, but Nicki Minaj still worked with her and still hyped her up even after she said that she was still love to work with Cardi B, right? Well, now Sexy Red, who has recently shown love to Lotto, Megan the Stallion, Cardi B. She was just on Glorilla's album that she just put out where Megan the Stallion was throwing shade at Nicki Minaj, right? Well, Nicki Minaj did not hesitate to still bring Sexy Red out on her Gag City Queens stage. Check this out. Now, I just want to give the queen her flowers out because she is forever beating those allegations. Just just, just give a bitch her, her roses, though. I mean, you know I love just you, give man. a bitch her roses. Like, you know what I'm saying? I did. With that being said, let's go on ahead and move forward into Kim Kardashian and North. So, Kim Kardashian knows how her daughter is, but she decided to ask messy north a question during her interview about her cooking and y'all know north did not hold back so as you guys can see it says northwest is dragging kim kardashian for not cooking for their family in nearly two years in an intimate conversation for interview magazine the 11 year old was put in the hot seat by her famous mom asking a series of candid questions at one point kim kardashian asked west okay serious question how is my cooking the reality star's eldest child whom she shares with ex kanye west didn't hold back responding you haven't cooked for us in a long time and also said that the last time she cooked 
was two Halloweens ago and that she remembers Kim Kardashian making mac and cheese. Kim Kardashian then reminded Northwest that she also made chicken and cornbread. Northwest responded and said it was good. Excuse me. And that she loves when her mom makes her cucumbers and salt, which you guys is very good with some tomatoes as well with some pepper and some Italian dressing. Somebody tell her. But I'm pretty sure that Kim Kardashian has a pers personal chef that cooks for her family all the time. I'm pretty sure that they eat out a lot, right? I'm pretty sure she's not just feeding her kids processed chicken nuggets in the microwave all day. But let me know what you guys feel about it. And let's get into another thing that Northwest also said about Nicki Minaj. So as you guys can see, Kim Kardashian asked North in this interview who were her favorite three artists. And Northwest did not hesitate to name them all. One of them being Nicki Minaj, which we already knew this because Northwest made it a long time ago or excuse me, made it clear a long time ago that she is a barb. So I'm not surprised. Anyways, let's move forward into Bacchiana. So I swear to you guys, I am going somewhere with this. Just bear with me. So we already know that allegedly out of Bachi B's mouth, not mine, right? She slept with another man while she was pregnant sometime in June, right? Shortly after she gave birth to her baby, it was reported by DJ Academics that Bossy B and him had a conversation and that he um, got the news that the person she slept with was an athlete of some sort, right? Well, there is a new guy that popped up. She was on Instagram live and he was commenting on her video and her fans or her bots, whichever, started pointing out her behavior while he was commenting. So I am going to play the clip before we go forward. Check it out. I got to see the type of blessings that, that God put in my life. Mm. Oh, hi. Anyways. So you guys see the comments right there at the bottom. This is the guy's account. And as you guys can see, he is following Cardi B and Cardi B is also following him. Not just that, but he used Flo Millie and Cardi B's song, Never Lose Me, on his Instagram story, making sure to use Cardi B's lyrics where she was saying that um, your girl was calling your phone while your ace was in my, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, obviously they are talking to each other in my opinion. And I just want to say that I know that it's unfair, right? The guy always gets to be the one to leave the family and move on and never look back, you know, and just run off into the sunset with another woman. And the woman is always stuck with the kids and everything like that i get it but at the end of the day that's just the life of a mother right and unfortunately um well actually fortunately for cardi b in my opinion i don't know how she feels but fortunately you guys she has three children two of them being little girls now i'm not saying that she brings these men around her children because i do not know that but at the end of the day, she is a celebrity and every single thing she does is going to remain on the internet. So one day her daughter is going to see like, hey, my mom slept with someone else that was not my dad while she was pregnant with me. And then shortly after that, it was reported that she was messing with someone else. So I'm like, considering that I feel like Boxy B should really just slow down and worry about herself for a while and really let her divorce finalize because I don't think she understands how she made herself look when she let it be known that she slept with someone else while she was pregnant because I understand someone doing you wrong and you feel in some type of way. But at the end of the day, you have to have respect for yourself and your child. 
But let me know what you guys feel about that. Let's go on ahead and add some razzle dazzle onto the video and get into none other than Nicki Minaj. So we have to get into some Nicki Minaj news and some recent Nicki Minaj stats, y'all. The internet is so wild. They are trying to say that the recent pictures Nicki Minaj has put out is from years ago. Like, dang, give this woman her tens. Anyways, let's go on ahead and run it for the queen. The first thing being this. Vogue has announced that Nicki Minaj will be a speaker at the 2024 Forces of Fashion event in New York City alongside Anna Wintour on October 16th. So congratulations on that. Obviously, y'all know Vogue always has to recognize the barbs, okay? They said, barbs, are you ready? At Nicki Minaj will be in the building for the Vogue's Forces of Fashion, a day filled with interactive panels and networking discussions along with a-list speakers immersive fashion experiences and more secure your spot here so again giving the queen her her tens let's move forward and get into them tour stats okay touring data Nicki minaj's lifetime revenue has now surpassed 160 million from over 1.7 million tickets sold in 170 shows, extending her record as the highest grossing and best selling rapper in history. Listen to what that said, okay? The best selling female rapper in history, you guys. I had someone in my comments the other day trying to downplay this, like, well, Nicki Minaj should be since she's the oldest. What does new streams and new sales on a new project and a new tour have to do with Nicki Minaj being older? She is simply doing better than the new girls and everybody from her time. Okay, let's go forward. Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 World Tour extends its record as the highest grossing rap tour in history by a female with 108 million grossed. Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 World Tour has now grossed over 108 million so far, becoming the fourth highest grossing hip hop tour of all time. Nicki Minaj is officially the first woman in rap history to gross over a hundred million in a single tour with Pink Friday 2, y'all. Listen to the wording of those stats or you will believe you're reading the same thing again and again. Those, those stats are different, you guys. She is breaking records and making history, period. Let's go forward. Nicki Minaj confirms the Gag City World Tour has made over 108 million and it's now the fourth highest selling hip hop tour of all time. And she confirmed that by posting this text message that was sent to her. It says, I have some updated stats for the Pink Friday 2 World Tour. We're now at over 108 million gross. This makes your tour the fourth highest grossing hip hop tour of all time. Over 750,000 tickets sold across 70 shows. Really amazing, remarkable achievement. Congratulations. And one last thing, you guys. <clears throat> Let me get my voice ready for the duds, y'all. They still didn't top 375K. They still didn't top 228K. They still didn't top 185K. They still didn't top 80K. And they still didn't top Red Ruby. Tried to steal my sauce. I said, get up on my cookbook. Wait, I'm really a sweetie pie. I'm P-I-T-T-Y, but I'm P-E-T-T-Y. Um, why did you lie about your light bulb? Effing your best friend, man, is crazy. You the type, though. You've been lying to the queen and now you lying to the king. Girl, 
That 30-year-old T so stale. Kindly kicked you out and made you stumble to the car. Barbs, I need a good alcohol bar. Roman, wait, that is the bar. Like a bodybuilder, I keep raising the bar. F you get shot with no scars. This little piggy toxic, somebody adopted. Mm, 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 mm. It get dark like chocolate. I'm about to get up in your big inch. Yeah, sort of like French. They bought you all them Grammys, but your flow still a no. What a fiasco, Lupe, future man, you pay. <laughs> she want to party with the baby while rubbing her Tory toothpaste. I guess you needed money bags for them trade songs. G Easy, Carl made your crawl form. Yo, why the F they poke the monster? F it with Nikki this year, home coming like a pawn star. She just mad that no it ever loved her. No gonna stand ten toes behind her. Is it my fault I got good and I uh why the is you effing on um nah, but she was lying on your mama. Lying on your mama, lying on your mama, lying on your Mama, lie on your damn mama. Lie on your damn mama. Lie, 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 lie on your damn mama. Okay, now. I know I probably messed up. Thank you for enjoying Barbie City Mother Effing Blooper Rose. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Thanks. <laughs>